Lincoln Joseph Steffens. After Steffens returned to the U.S. from studying abroad, he began looking for a job. Then in 1892, he became a police reporter for the New York Evening Post. Here he was able to learn how to investigate and write newsworthy articles on local politics, economic conditions, and culture. Then in 1902, Steffens became the managing editor for the McClure's Magazine, one of the most popular and prestigious magazines in the country. During this time, he was able to make a name for himself through the series of articles he published on corrupt city governments. Steffens was one of the leading voices during the time who played a role as a muckraker who exposed the corruption of American government. He was able to publish what could have been seen as a first muckraking article in McClure's magazine in October of 1902. This was a Tweed Day in St. Louis, which discussed the corruption of political machines in St. Louis. Then in 1904, he published The Shame of Cities, which were a series of articles that discussed how the best cities were involved in bribes and scandals. He then took on an investigation of Wall Street, which then led to the formation of the Federal Reserve System. Stephens believed that his articles should not have been information that everyone already knows. That is why he was constantly on the move, traveling from one city to another, gathering more information on why and how the government system was corrupt. Stephens' articles were made to expose the corruption of the government. This way, it can influence people to take back their government for themselves and clean up the government of corruption. Yes. Yeah.